Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today we're going to be going into another item that you can use to organize your toolbox or around the house let's say kitchen drawers anything like that but today we're going to be focusing on my toolbox and how I'm going to use these to organize it this is from a company called Trace My Space and it is pretty cool if you guys uh, you know have a toolbox I'm sure you guys have heard of Kaizen Foam and basically it's a foam that you can get in different thicknesses for different drawers and you put your tools in there and you trace them out and then you cut it out and it has its pros and cons it's nice for organizing uh, but it can be messy trying to cut it out and if you're trying to make it look good it can really take time uh, and sometimes when you rip it out it doesn't always look the best it's it's got its pros and cons well trace my space is a company kind of like that but they do it for you if you ask me it's pretty amazing like I said, it's great for tools and for in the home if you want to organize drawers around the house. Uh, it, they use a laser to cut everything, and it's pretty cool because, yes, it's a company online, but they do all this through images and computers. So what you'll do is you remove your drawer on your toolbox. You measure the inside diameter, the width, and the length, and then after you do that, you arrange the drawer however you want. You put your tools in there, space them out exactly how you want. You will place a quarter in each corner of the drawer. And then after that, you stand directly above, at least four feet with your camera above the drawer, and from straight above, you take a picture straight down. And I'll try and throw some pictures up in here of the pictures I took. Uh, in order to give you an idea and that's the most important part is being directly above the drawer so the computer can really detect everything uh, get the size they use the quarters to determine you know the size of everything and then they use your uh, drawer dimensions to you know cut the foam but they take all that information and they use lasers to cut this foam and it's pretty cool so I picked a few different drawers that I thought it would work well for it's not going to be good for, you know, like your junk drawers and stuff, but certain drawers that you use a lot that uh, you could really organize, it's for those. Like this. This is going to be for my hammer drawer. So basically, I laid out my drawer, which is positioned like this, and I took a picture from directly above. And they use the computer to laser cut all this top foam out and then they have a bottom foam as well so getting into that there are two thicknesses for the top you can get a smooth like this this is the smooth texture or the smooth uh, foam top and it's going to be 3 8 inch thick or you can get a uh, textured top layer and it is going to be a half inch thick and then as far as the bottom it is going to be a quarter inch thick and it is available in three different colors. You got red, this blue, and a black. Uh, obviously if you want it to be known that a tool is missing, I suggest either the red or blue just so you, it's easier to see the black on black. Looks good, but as you can tell it would, you know, you, it wouldn't be as noticeable if something was missing. Not necessarily your hammer drawer, but you get what I mean. And then the foam is a closed cell polythylene. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's lightweight, cost effective. It's strong, tear resistant, uh, impervious to mold, mildew, rot, and all that. And it's chemical and grease resistant as well. And as far as cleaning it, you would just take it out, uh, water, wipe it down, let it dry simple as that um, but other than that I'm going to kind of show you a couple of the drawers that I'm going to be using these on obviously you'll see this but other than that the largest one that they can do is 24 by 36 now that's a pretty big uh, sheet of foam and a pretty good sized drawer and if you have a drawer bigger than that you can always do uh, multiple or you know two or three different sizes uh, for that drawer or you can contact them and talk to them about uh, getting something else done. The thing that 
I like about this is something I've always believed in is, and this doesn't just go for, you know, working in the mechanical field or anything, but just in life in general, working efficiently, uh, it starts with staying organized. If you want to work efficiently or be efficient, it's very important to stay organized, and I believe this is a great way to do that. So let's get into the drawers and let's get these things organized. Okay, so the drawers that I'll be doing is this drawer right here, where I believe I got the, these organizers from Craftsman. They're, they got like a 3M tape on the bottom, and it's basically a foam rail. That, they're okay, but it's kind of a pain. Uh, not the best can be kind of annoying uh, and then I got my Matco spark plug socket set in here as well so that's one of the drawers we'll be doing another one like you guys saw is the hammer drawer and then another one being one of the larger drawers which my with my some of my punches and chisels my pry bars my file set and a couple more hammers but we're gonna be organizing all of that as well and I'll show you what it looks like after I get them done Okay, so I have the drawers done and ready to be viewed. Um, another thing that's great is the company, once you email them all of your information uh, about your drawers and everything and send them the pictures, they will also send you, before they even start cutting anything, they'll send you images, laser images or computerized images of what the drawer is going to look like and everything. So you can, you know, tell them what you want adjusted, you tell them what you want engraved into it. Like mine has my name, you know, property of whatever you want, uh, as well as the bigger drawer. I have my punch and chisel set. I'll show you what we decided to go with on that. But that's just a, a great thing about that. So here is the wrench drawer. And as you can see, this is the metric from 10 to 19 and then 3 eighths to 3 quarters. Uh, and then the impact or <laughs> impact the spark plug socket set over here and everything fits very nicely and you can easily identify when something's missing they ran this finger rail up the center so you can easily grab a wrench another thing that's nice is engraved in the bottom of each one is the sizing so 15 millimeter is marked 15 millimeter and that goes for all of them really easy to pull out and replace very nice uh, and then I got the engraving over here I think it turned out really nicely it's uh, the foam isn't too thick to where uh, you couldn't use it in a shallow drawer if you wanted you could use it in a shallow drawer uh, so I think it's a great way to stay organized and then here's the hammer drawer it's just enough to keep everything in position. Nothing's going to be moving around on you. So that's the hammer drawer over here. And then the big drawer over here. You got your files, which are all set up. Hammers. Brass punches. You can easily identify if something's missing uh, and nothing's going anywhere. Like I said before, the pry bars fit in there very nicely. And then the punch set. Now, since this is in a roll, we decided not to do individual spaces because if this is something that I just want to grab and go, minus these over here. If I just want to grab this and go, I can without having to grab all of them. They just laser engraved a square cutout of where the punch and chisel set goes. So you could do that with uh, miscellaneous items or if you have little kits, like let's say a little socket set in a plastic tray, kind of like the spark plug socket set. I could have done that over there, but it's very rare that I'm just going to grab the entire spark plug socket set. So that's why I did this like this and left the punch set like that. So it's they're a great company. They listen to you. They'll give you ideas, uh, let you know what 
uh, will work best. Let's say you have a lot of small items. It's not really going to be good for, you know, trying to organize something like this. But if you have a pliers drawer, uh, it would work well for that if you could lay all your pliers down. But other than that, that's it. Uh, it's very cost effective as far as organizers. Uh, all of this was around $100, which some people might say, whoa, well, you're going to spend about that on Kaizen Foam too to do it yourself and hope not to mess it up and have to buy more or deal with your mess up. Well, it's really not that expensive when you think about if you've organized the rest of your box. I spent $100 in organizers in just this one drawer. Same thing with this drawer. I mean, it's it's not cheap to stay organized, but it, to me, it really, I believe it pays off because efficiency, the key to it, to me, one of the biggest things is organization. So I really believe this is a great way to do it. So once again, if you guys are interested, the link will be down there in the description for you guys. Please let me know your guys' uh, thoughts on the Trace My Space company. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Also, before I go, my bad, warranty on this. It is a 90-day warranty, but if you have any issues before receiving them, message them if you want to make any changes. And after the 90 days, if you have any issues or anything like that, something that you don't like, message them and talk to them about it. They do uh, stand by their 100% satisfaction. So if you're not happy with it, let them know. Now, if you go and destroy the mat, now that's on you, obviously. But just want to state that. So see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.